Hello, my name is Aditya and I love to play Minecraft. I also like to mod it. This is the third video of a second part of the Minecraft tutorial series in which we will learn how to mod the game. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far and today we're going to build some more advanced mods. So let's look at the game for some inspiration. This is the world I created in the last video and you can see it's got a bunch of random stuff here. So I'm going to clear my inventory, and then I like villagers, so let's look at villagers. Got a villager here, and a diamond sword. So here's my random villager, I'm going to kill him now. Why didn't you drop anything, villager? Come on, give me something, you. Give me something. I hate you, villagers. Just drop something already. Darn. Die. So, you can see that villagers don't drop anything. So now let's take a look at how we make them drop something. The package we have to go to is net.minecraft.entity.passive and we open up villager and we're also going to be using squid for this one and you will see why soon. So we're going to need the method drop few items. So. Now, villagers don't drop anything, but squids do, and that's why they have this method. So, I'm going to copy it, and paste it in villager. So now it should have pasted it somewhere. Here it is. So, with the squid, you can see it drops this thing called dye powder, which is basically an ink sack. So we're going to change that to an emerald because villagers trade with emeralds and if they don't have any, how can they trade with them? So when you kill them, you should get the emeralds they have. Now let's test it out. Now we'll go back to this world here. And I'll kill this random villager there. And you can see he drops some emeralds. If I spawn another villager, he also drops some emeralds. And another one. So they're all dropping emeralds. Now let's look at something else. One thing I find really annoying is you can't find command blocks anywhere in your inventory. So if I go to search items and I search for command block, it doesn't show me anything. So now let's change that. So I have to go to Eclipse, then I have to go to net.minecraft.block, and then block command block, and where I am right now I need to add a new line, this.set creative tab, then parentheses, creative, oops, creative tabs dot Tab. I'll make it tab redstone because you have to power them in redstone. Let me explain what we just did. This is a Java keyword which is reference to this class block command block. What we're doing is we're setting the creative tab to the redstone tab. Now let's take a look at what it did. So this is my redstone tab, and as you can see, the command block is now in there. And if I search it up here, I can see it right there, and I can place it down and... Oh, where'd it go? No, that was weird. Okay, so I can place it down and do whatever I want, whatever I want with it. And it works just like a regular command block would work. Now let's look at mushrooms. I think they're interesting because you can make them grow into big, giant mushrooms. So I'm going to get both the different types of mushrooms out and some mycelium to grow them on. So if I put these two myceliums here and turn it to nighttime, you can see that they don't give off any light. Now we're going to change that. We're going to make them glow. So let's go to Eclipse. 
Now here's a cool feature you can use. You can go to navigate, then open type, then search for whatever you want. So I'm going to search for block mushroom, which is this. I'm going to double click on it to open it up. Then I'm going to right click on block mushroom to find out where it is used. I go to references, then project, and it's loading it. Then I should double click on this, and it will take me to block mushroom. Here's another cool feature. If you double click on block.java or whatever file you're at, you can expand it to make it easier to read and you can double click on it again to make it smaller again. You can see that a brown mushroom already has light value of an eighth of a full light value. We're going to change that to a half so it's easier to see it. Then we're going to copy this code into brown mushroom. I mean into red mushroom, not brown mushroom. And then let's try it out. So you can see these same mushrooms are sort of glowing now because you can see these these blocks around it are a bit lighter. Another way to figure that, find that out, is I could dig down a bit more. Try to make it daytime, it'd be easier to see. So I could keep going for a bit, and you can see it's kind of dark here. And you can see the mushroom is glowing in this little cave I have created. Now let's look at zombies. Let's look at what they drop. You didn't seem to drop anything. Come on, zombies, stop being annoying. Drop something. Okay, this one dropped blood and flesh. But that's the only common drop they have, so I want to change that. I'm going to go to Eclipse. And where I want to go, well, first I should in minimize this. I'll go to Navigate, Open Type, and search for Entity Zombie. And... I can see entity zombie here, but I'm and I'm also here in the package explorer. But if the place you're at here and here don't match, you can click on the sync button, and you will whatever you're whatever you are here, you'll be in the same place here. I'm also going to need some code from skeleton. So what I'm going to need is drop few items. I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to paste it into zombie then I'm going to open it up I'm going to take out this part because only skeletons we need it and we don't need it and you can see that there's an extra bracket here so let's delete that then I'm going to change this here to rotten flesh and how it's working here is there are two loops and they'll randomly drop rotten flesh bones or maybe even both now let's see how that works so if I spawn a zombie you can see he drops some bones and some rotten flesh now let's build the last mod for this video I'm going to need a crafting table because this will have to do with crafting recipes. Also, going to need a pumpkin. So, if I place the table, put the pumpkin in, you can see I get four pumpkin seeds. But usually, pumpkins have a ton more seeds than that. So, I want to change it so they make more seeds. So, I need to go to here. And then I need to go to. Um, I think it's down here net.minecraft.item.crafting then I go to recipes food I do not know why the recipe is here it just is so you can see this recipe here is adding a new recipe which is shaped so it has to be in a certain shape it's giving you four pumpkin seeds which is here and it is crafted by putting so here it's showing you have to put one of M which is a block of it's a pumpkin so what we want to change is we want to change 4 to 10 maybe 
so we get more seats. And now let's try it out. So I don't know why that creeper is there, but I'm gonna take another pumpkin. I ran the creeper. I put it in here. You can see I get 10 pumpkin seeds instead of four. Now I want to blow up this creeper because he's so random. I'm gonna put myself into survival. And he doesn't, oh, he's about to blow up. He doesn't wanna blow up. Come on, blow up, you. Ah, I hate you, stupid creeper. Anyways, let's summarize what we did today. We learned how to make slightly more advanced mods, such as villagers drop emeralds, command blocks are now visible in the creative inventory, mushrooms will glow, zombies will sometimes drop bones, and pumpkins give you more pumpkin seeds. Thanks for listening, and happy Minecrafting and modding.